everyone in this video we will start exercise 10.2 chapter 10 that is circles before this required previous knowledge is about understanding of theorem 10.1 that is tangent at any point on the circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact and theorem 10.2 that is length of tangents drawn from external point to circle are equal in measure and must familiar with the Pythagoras theorem so now let's begin with question number one that from a point Q, the length of tangent to the circle is 24 cm and distance of Q from the center of circle is 25 cm. The radius of circle is 7 cm, 12 cm, 15 cm and 24.5 cm. So, what is given in this question? We have a point Q given which is the circle exterior of the circle, which you can see on the screen. Point Q is given and we have point Q is length of tangent given. है. जो कि आपके पास क्या है QP और आप कह सकते हैं PQ that is equal to 24 cm and we are given the distance of Q from center O that is 25 cm and we need to find the radius of circle that is OP here so we need to find OP so as we know that the radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so OP will be perpendicular to PQ OP is perpendicular to PQ so this is perpendicular here so side opposite to perpendicular will be or you can say side opposite to right angle will be hypotenuse so OQ will be hypotenuse and the two sides will be base and perpendicular keep in mind so triangle OPQ is right angle triangle so we can use Pythagoras theorem in this triangle by using Pythagoras theorem we can say OQ square will be equals to OP square plus PQ square so here OQ square is hypotenuse square equals to OP square that is this one this side that is radius and here PQ square is tangent so PQ square so now we are to find OP square so therefore we can say OP square will be equals to OQ square minus PQ square so OQ square minus PQ square here we are given OQ as 25 so put here 25 and PQ as that is length of tangent that is 24 centimeter so put here 24 so 25 square becomes 625 and 24 square become 576 so now difference of these two number will be 49 625 minus 576 become 49 now this square will be transposed to the right hand side and become square root of 49 and square root of 49 will be 7 cm so OP equals to 7 cm the radius of circle is 7 cm thus we can say option A is correct answer option A is correct answer hai. this is all about question number 1 so now proceed for question number 2 that is if in figure TP and TQ are two tangents to a circle with center O so that angle POQ equals to 110 degree then angle PTQ is equals to so we PTQ find out karna hai jaysa ki aap screen par dekh pa rahe hain so we are given four options option A is 60 degree option B is 70 degree and option C is 80 degree and option D is 90 degree so we need to find this angle and we all know that radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so as we are given TQ and TP are tangent to a circle with center O such that POQ equals to 110 degree which is given before you will mention it so therefore we can say OP is perpendicular to tangent that is PT or you can say TP and similarly this radius OQ is perpendicular to this tangent that is TQ or you can say QT so we can say this angle is right angle and similarly this angle is off right angle or you can say 90 degree so OPT is equals to 90 degree and similarly here OQT equals to 90 degree so we are given this angle as 90 degree this angle as already 110 degree this angle is 90 degree so we can find this angle by using angles and property of quadrilateral TPOQ so let's proceed now in quadrilateral TPOQ we get by angles and property that is PTQ plus 90 degree plus 110 degree plus 90 degree equals to 360 degree so therefore angle PTQ plus 290 degree equals to 360 degree or PTQ will be 360 minus 290 equals to 70 degree the option B is correct answer option B is correct answer hai. this is all about question number 2 so now proceed for question number 3 if tangents PA and PB from a point P to a circle O are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree then angle POA is equals to so we are given angle between two tangents that is AP and here you can say PB so PA and PB are two tangents and angle between them is 80 degree that we are given and we know that radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so here this is angle is 90 degree and this is also right angle that is 90 degree so we can find this angle AOB and now we need to find angle POA this one only 
so as we know that these two triangles are congruent so by simplicity these angles are equal or we can say op the line joining extreme point to the center of circle bisect angle aop aob as well as angle apb so we can find angle ao that is 50 degree so now proceed for the solution we are given apb equals to 80 degree that is already we are given as pa and pb are tangent to the circle with center o therefore we can say radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact therefore oa is perpendicular to ap here you can see and ob is perpendicular to pb so therefore angle oap equals to 90 degree and opp as 90 degree and we are already given angle apb that is 80 degree so we can find fourth angle that is central angle aob so now in quadrilateral aobp by using angle sum property we can find angle aob plus obp plus apb plus oap equals to 360 degree so now aob we are to find obp that is 90 degree apb we are given 80 degree and oap as 90 degree equals to 360 degree so now aob plus 260 equals to 360 and aob will be 360 minus 260 equals to 100 degree as op is an angle bisector of angle aob as well as apb so therefore we can say aop or you can say poa equals to half of central angle that is aob so poa will be half of angle aob and aob we have already got that is 100 degree so poa will be half of 100 degree will be equals to 50 degree thus option a is correct answer option a aapka kya hai right answer hai and this is all about question number 3 so now proceed for question number 4 prove that tangents drawn at the ends of a diameter of a circle are parallel so we are given a circle with center o and pq as diameter and two tangents you can see on the screen we have two tangents that is ab and cd ab is drawn at the end point p of the diameter pq and cd is drawn at the end point q of the diameter pq so we need to prove that ab is parallel to cd so in figure we have pq as diameter of circle with center o and ab and cd be the two tangents at the end points of diameter pq since tangent at point to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact so therefore pq is perpendicular to ab so therefore we can say apq will be equals to 90 degree and similarly pq is perpendicular to tangent cq therefore pqd will be equals to 90 degree so now these two right hand side are equal so therefore left hand side will also equal we can say implies apq equals to pqd and but these two angle forms pair of alternate interior angles therefore the tangent ab is parallel to tangent cd so dekhi dono ke alternate interior angle form kar rahe hain so hum kya kahenge tangent ab kya hai parallel to tangent cd hai or we can use another pair that is you can see here if you use angle pqc and here apq then these two angles will form pair of quaternary angles as sum of these two angle will be 90 plus 90 equals to 180 so again these two tangents will be parallel by using pair of quaternary angle property so you can use anywhere according to your requirement so proceed for question number 5 prove that the perpendicular at point of contact to the tangent to a circle passes through the center so now we need to prove that perpendicular drawn at the point of contact to the tangent passes through the center of circle so you can see on the screen we have a circle with center o so let us assume that the perpendicular at point of contact to the tangent does not pass through the center use contradiction method here so we assume that tangent at point of contact that is p here with the tangent pt so perpendicular at the point of contact p does not pass through the center o but it passes through center sorry it passes through point o dash so here o dash p will be perpendicular to pt according to construction or according to our assumption join op so now as op is radius as we know that o is the center of circle so join op and op is radius and we know that radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact therefore op will be perpendicular to pt op is perpendicular to pt here and o dash p is perpendicular to here to pt so we can see both are perpendicular to the same line o dash p and op so from relation 1 and 2 we get op and o dash p are perpendicular to pt implies op and o dash p must coincide with each other these two line must coincide with each other as both are forming right angle at the same point p this is not possible 
this is possible only when when op and o dash p coincide with each other or you can say o and o dash both are same point so as only one perpendicular can be drawn from one point on a line so hence perpendicular from the point of contact passes through the center of circle जो आप परफेंडिकल ड्रॉ करते हैं पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट पर वो कहाँ से पास करेगा सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल से ही पास करेगा दिस इज ऑल अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सो नाउ प्रोसीड फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स द लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट ए एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल इज फोर सेंटीमीटर फाइंड द रेडियस ऑफ सर्कल सो वी आर गिवन लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट एज फोर सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट ए दैट इज 5 cm away from the center of circle so we are given the distance between center and point a that is 5 cm and length of tangent at equals to 4 cm we need to find the radius of circle that is ot here so hame radius find out karna hai as we know that radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so therefore ot will be perpendicular to ta so here this angle will be right angle this triangle will be right angle triangle we can use by pythagoras theorem we can find ot by using pythagoras theorem so let's begin for solution here as radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact therefore ot will be perpendicular to ta implies triangle ota is right angle triangle now by using pythagoras theorem we can say square of hypotenuse equals to sum of square of other two smaller side so therefore ot square will be equals to ot square plus at square so here ot square plus at square will be equals to oa square so ot square will be equals to oa square minus ta square or you can say at square so oa we have 5 cm so put here 5 square and here ta equals to 4 cm that is length of tangent so put here 4 so 5 square become 25 and 4 square become 16 so 25 minus 16 become 9 so now this transpose this square to the right hand side and become ot equals to square root of 9 and square root 9 will be 3 cm so ot radius hame mil jata hai that is 3 cm thus the radius of circle that is r equals to ot equals to 3 cm so this is all about question number 6 now proceed for question number 7 so in the question number 7 we are given two concentric circles are of radii 5 cm and 3 cm find the length of chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle so we are having two circles concentric circles first of all understand the meaning of concentric circles so concentric circles are those circles which have same center but different radii so dekhiye aise circle jinka center to common hai but radius different hai aise circles ko hum kya bolte hain concentric circles bolte hain so we need to find the length of chord of larger circle so dekhiye yahan ek chord hai jo aapka larger circle ka hai but smaller circle ko touch karta hai so that wo chord aapka smaller circle ka kya ban jayega tangent ban jata hai so we need to find the length of that chord so given radius of smaller circle that is we can see here you can see on the screen that is r equals to ot equals to 3 cm that is the radius of smaller circle and radius of larger concentric circle that is r equals to oa equals to 5 cm so as we know that here first of all we are given that ab that is the chord so ab is chord of larger circle but tangent to the smaller circle as it, it touches the smaller circle at point of contact t so ab is chord of larger circle but tangent to the smaller circle so now as radius is perpendicular to radius sorry tangent is perpendicular to radius at point of contact therefore you can see on the screen here radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so here angle ot a or you can say otb will be right angle so ot is perpendicular to ab so you can say or we can say ato will be equals to otb equals to 90 degree so these two angles are of right angle so in triangle ato by using pythagoras theorem we can find at as oa square will be equals to at square plus ot square so at square will be equals to ao square minus ot square and ao is the radius of larger circle that is r square capital r square and ot is the radius of smaller circle that is small r square so here radius of larger circle is 5 cm so put here 5 and radius of smaller circle is 3 cm so put here 3 so 5 square become 25 and 3 square become 9 so 25 minus 9 become 16 so this square will be transposed to the right hand side and become square root of 16 so at will be square root of 16 and this will be plus minus 4 but dimension can't be negative so here at equals to minus 4 will be rejected so we will consider only at equals to 4 cm so we find at equals to 4 cm we also know that 
the perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord and about this theorem we have already studied in the previous class that is class 9 so i am repeating the perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord so here ot is perpendicular to chord ab so at equals to tb at or tb kya ho jayenge aapke equal ho jate hain at equals to tb so therefore we can say at equals to tb equals to 4 as we have already at equals to 4 so therefore at equals to tb equals to 4 implies ab will be equals to twice of at ab kiske equal ho jayega twice of at ke and 2 into 80 is 4 <coughs> so this will be 8 cm so hame ab mil jata 8 cm and ab is the required chord so thus the length of required chord ab is equals to 8 cm and this is all about question number 7 so now proceed for question number 8 that is a quadrilateral abcd is drawn to circumscribe a circle prove that ab plus cd equals to ad plus bc so we are given a quadrilateral that is circumscribed to a circle so the key circumscribed means quadrilateral is outside the circle and if we are given inscribed then quadrilateral be inside the circle so here in this problem we are given that quadrilateral is circumscribed to a circle means quadrilateral is lying outside the circle touching the circle at four different points here on the screen you can see here side ab touches the circle at point p here side bc touches the circle at point q and side c cd is touching touching the circle at point r and here side ad touches the circle at point s so quadrilateral abcd touching the circle at four different point p q r and s here we need to prove that sum of opposite sides that is ab plus cd is equals to bc plus ad we need to prove that sum of these two sides is equals to sum of these two sides so you can see on the screen So now, as length of tangents drawn from exterior point to the circle of are equal measure. So, see, we have to know the theorem 10.2 ke according that when we draw tangent from any circle to any circle from any exterior point, the length is equal. It is equal to the same measure. Ke hain. Here, you can see point A, B, C, and D all are in the exterior of circle. So, here AP and AS will be the tangent to the circle and of equal measure. Similarly, BP and BQ will be of equal measure. similarly cq and cr will be of equal measure and similarly here dr and ds will be of equal measure so we can write it here as equals to ap bq equals to bp and similarly cq equals to cr and ds equals to dr these are the tangents from exterior point to the circle so now we need to prove ab plus cd equals to ad plus bc take left hand side of this result that is here we need to prove ab plus cd so take left hand side ab plus cd and we can write ab as ap plus pb and similarly cd can be written as cr plus dr so hum ab ko write kar sakte hain ap plus pb ke andar aur cd ko write kar sakte hain cr plus dr ke andar so ab can be written as ap plus pb here you can see ab can be written as ap plus pb and cd can be written as cr plus dr and now you can see here pb can be written as here pb or bp can be written as bq so replace this with bq and ap can be written as as so ap write kar dijiye as similarly cr can be written as cq and dr can be written as ds sabhi ko replace kar dijiye so as plus bq plus cq plus ds here as plus ds will be ad and bq plus cq will be bc so we will get as plus ds as ad and bq plus cq will be bc so these are the opposite sides ad plus bc will be equals to ab plus cd thus we can say sum of opposite sides of quadrilateral that is circumscribing a circle is equal so this is all about question number 1 and all about question number 1 to 8 of exercise 10.2 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching